Thousands of people spending a weekend on a frozen lake, something you'll only find in Minnesota. Gotta love it. They know you can have fun no matter what the weather is like, and a million rows, you know that. They are in Walker right now. Nice to see you guys. What a sight behind you there. I know it's quickly building up here. It's amazing. Just since we got here, it's just increased. It's turning into a little city behind us. Yeah, it really is. I mean, you think about all the people come up here for the summertime, and you know, the Leech Lake is one of the top fishing lakes in the state. And thinking for one reason, I want to catch a walleye. Not this weekend. That's not the goal. It is. We're overlooking, as we mentioned, Leech Lake right now. Walker Bay is behind us. And that's the site of a fishing festival that is really something to see. It will be filled with fish houses by Saturday morning, to say the least. Yeah, and as you can imagine, it's really, really very important to organizers here to run this festival safely. And it is a challenge, and that challenge is, has an added wrinkle this year. The population of Walker, Minnesota will jump tenfold this weekend thanks to a big celebration for an ugly fish. It's kind of a joke, you know, I mean, it's the eel pout. You know, back in the day, people would catch them and throw them right back down the hole and, oh, don't touch it. Uh, now it's become really popular as, you know, the face of the festival. It's a winter tradition, 37 years running. Jared Olson has been in charge for the last five. You have a, a mix of all different kinds and different ages of people here, for, that's for sure. They're all here to have fun, whether they're fishing or not. Generally, people don't always make the right decision at events like this. Cass County Sheriff Tom Birch has a challenge of keeping eel pal participants safe. Slips on the ice after a few too many are common, and dozens of deputies will be out to stop drinking and driving. Another job they have this year? Keeping vehicles off the lake. The biggest concern is the large volume of people in such a concentrated area that we're really concerned about the ice. Our warmer winter means no cars or trucks are allowed on Walker Bay from noon tomorrow until noon Sunday. So the rush is on today to get fish houses on the lake. Once festival goers are set up, it's time to have fun at an event that just keeps getting bigger. I think it's become such a big deal just because the nature of us Minnesotans is to get outside and embrace the cold weather because, you know, it's half of our year is to, to freeze. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. And talk about warm weather. We ran into a lady who said she's been coming to this festival for 20 years, and she said that she and her friend were trying to figure it out, and they think that there was, a, last year compared to this year, there's a 54-degree difference. Oh, my. Yeah. And, and even though the, the trucks and cars have to be off the ice by noon tomorrow, it's still good for business in town because they all have to stop and park their cars somewhere, and the businesses here in Walker, which are really wonderful, really do benefit from it. So it's not just what's going on behind us, but also in front of us that makes it such a special weekend. Absolutely. And they actually did this six years ago, I think, right, was the last time right. that they did it, and the businesses in town did say that they noticed a difference. We drove way out. I mean, way out to try our yeah. eel pot fishing. We'll see that at 6 o'clock. Oh, oh, fun. Oh, boy. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. All right, it's probably going to be a bit sloppy there this weekend, probably in more ways than one, I, uh, I imagine. You guys behave. <laughs> well, we'll check back okay. at six. Okay. okay. Thank we you. always do. We know.